sides and just a brief windscreen wiper so more the uh, obliques and just connecting the upper and the lower and also giving your hip flexors a moment so you're going to tilt your knees to one side and take the opposite arm and create like it's like a yawn i dig in with the feet and i reach and i breathe and then slowly come back and go to the other side and again dig in and reach And then gently come back to center. So finally, we're going to start to transition towards the seat. <laughs> so bring the knees towards your chest. Exhale, forehead to the knees, knees to the forehead. Just rock and roll your way into a seat. So rock and rolling is a nice way to give uh, your whole back a massage. And so try to keep your chin in. And if you feel like your legs are doing most of the rocking, you can slide your forearms behind your calves and grab your shins with um, opposite hand like this the crisscross right go behind cross and take hold and then when you're rolling you kind of feel like you have to use the front to help the back or to facilitate that rocking that rounding on the back so you just experiment but take it for what it is it's just really waking up the back Okay, and if you struggle with the rocking and rolling and that rounding of the back, do try it. It's well worth your effort. And so once you come up into a seat, see if you can free the legs in front of you and notice how your sitting goes when you are here. So how does your sitting go? And if you feel like you're collapsing in the heap, which is possible, so if you're slouching straight away, just uh, soften the knees and see if you can walk on the front edges of your seat to find a more upright position. And then we're going to use the bricks again. So you can use books. You don't have to use anything at all. You could have your hands on the floor. It makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, so see what goes on. I'm going to place the bricks on the flat side. You can go taller. It's just as uh, valid. And then you may or may not need to have the knees bent just to be upright to begin with. Uh, so be a bit more respectful of your hamstrings. And so a little bit more on your core, but you're just going to turn on the legs a little more. And that may feel a little bit more intense. So just keep breathing here. So I place my, if you kind of, feel around your outer thigh, you'll come to a point on the upper thigh against the bony bit, right? because it feels quite bony on the side. And it's uh, the greater trochanter, so it's a part of the hip joint, it's a bony bit on the outside of your hip bone. Um, the femur, not so much the pelvis, right? So that's roughly where your hip joint is in terms of height um, relative where it is we need to put the bricks sorry for mumbling and the bricks actually not going to be going next to this point that's all i was trying to say but going to go forwards okay so forwards how far forwards well you know halfway along the thigh is fine so when you place your hands there and you can see my elbows are quite bent if i put my hands on the bricks and obviously they'd be even more bent if i go higher with the bricks and they're still quite bent but not as much if I place my hands on the floor. So what you're gaining from this bend of the elbow is if you push and the arms straighten, you have some lifting power. So that's what we're looking for. And then the legs, the action of the legs, your hip flexor is going to have to work quite a lot. We've just turned on the TVA band, that's going to have to work. And so I'm going to encourage you, even with bent knees, to push the heels away from you. So you're going to flex your feet as much as you can. And so the hands go on your bricks. You're going to take an exhale and lean forwards and then press. And as you press, try to lift your asana up and back, right? So it goes up and back. 
So when you're ready, three, two, one, right? Exhale, press, lift up and back. So maybe your legs are still, your heels are touching the floor, or maybe you can use your hip flexors and pick up the legs. And the hard thing is the breathing. So you can park the heels if necessary, press, 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 press with all your might. Look, look forwards and go five, four, three, two, one, come down, pause. So notice if you braced yourself in one specific body area just to survive. And of course your arms are starting to get into this pushing scenario. Okay, so starting to connect the upper and the lower body as well. We're not gonna do this whole class, it's okay. But you're starting to hopefully feel a bit more lively. So two more like this, okay? So hands go on your brick. Exhale, press. Inhale, pick yourself back and up. And hold five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, come down, breathe. So what you can do if your wrists are starting to wake up, flip the palms up on your bricks or on the floor and very gently press in the opposite direction. You can also flick your fingers to release any tension in the wrists. So final round, you may want to reposition your bricks. Remember they're going slightly forwards. Again, press, exhale and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, come down. And again, uh, relieve your wrists. And then um, keep your bricks, put them forwards of your hips again, and then lean back and cross your shins. And you may want to kind of play a little bit where your bricks need to be. They need to be forwards of your hips, but not so far forwards that you can't actually press anymore. And all I want you to do is cross your shins, whichever one is in front, flex your ankles, press down to lift your asana up, and then just step your feet back. If that doesn't work, if you get stuck, you can just lower yourself down and transition to all fours in your, in your way, in your own time. Just come on to all fours. And then just briefly, if you need to, just release your wrists. You may want to come up onto your fingertips and then spread a couple of times. You may want to spin your hands in and straighten your arms a few times. You may want to flip your palms up and re-extend your arms a few times. Uh, you may want to do none of those things, just spread your hands and press. So again, whatever's needed, okay, depending on how new you are to this. And then from all fours, the toes tucked under, just uh, two or three, let's do three cat cows. So when you inhale, mostly melt with your chest, lift your tail, lift your head, exhale, press, round, spread, and two more, inhale, melt, exhale, round, inhale, melt, exhale, round, and so finally, downward facing dog from here. So shift your hips back. I'm just gonna adjust myself again. Okay, so downward facing dog from where you are. And so first dog of the day, uh, or at least definitely in this class, walk it, spin it, do what you need to do. Uh, the alignment cues, as most of you would know, um, your first three fingers, first three knuckles, thumb, index finger, middle finger, 
uh, pushing the floor away. And then 